she came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, and you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlyle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlyle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlyle keeps a case file on the constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, Jet. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Uh -huh. Jeez. Dallas 6 moving in a, a famous private Possible enemy target. Over. No hard feelings, sir, but I need you to turn around and walk back the way. <gasps> Wait, Karma, my friend! Back up! We got it, sir! Move out! I understand. Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. 
Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Uh -huh. A famous pro- Command, something ain't right down here. Stand by while I investigate. Okay. Beautiful. That's a good job. Hey, mister. Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself. 47. Okay. Hmm? Bingo. We might have a possible disturbance. I'm moving to investigate. We'll keep you posted. I know I oughtn't say anything, but I'm so relieved you're here. Everything's just... Hey? I know I oughtn't say anything, but... No need to panic. Listen here, pal. I'm sorry. You're not allowed to be in here. Smart move. But then the awful business with her brother Zachary. And, and all this security. I've never seen a place guarded like this, and, and, and I dare say I don't like it at all. Well, this is what I mean. You have to be patted down before you see Madame Carlyle inside. Oh, I could just cry. So I just need to check. That's a bit excessive, I think, considering the fact that I spotted no less than two routes to get inside the house unseen. We know what we're doing, sir. Don't worry. Are you trying to hide from something? Doing so, okay, don't worry about that. Moving in to investigate. Not really telling that. You don't have to stand up here, Phil. Huh? Hello? Excuse me. I think you lost something. We're taking over here. Don't panic, people. We may have a situation. Uh, yes. Red leader, area is clear. Please advise, over. Nothing! Clear! Move 
out. Search within the perimeter. Copy that. What? Listen, if I shoot you, no one will ask any questions, so piss off, will you? <laughs> Hello, sir. Where's the family? I like to prime the suspects a bit. Madam Carlyle's family members are all on this floor. Maybe start in the sitting room. Oh, you! Do more sneaking around here, and I will engage you with furious aggression. Oh. It's like planting seeds that will grow. I know you. I don't know you. You faced great obstacles, too, I know. We will persevere. It is my duty to make that happen. Hello, sir.
that's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. I do not envy you. Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. safe in Madame Carlyle's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. Keep it real.
Mission complete. Well done, 47. Oh, by the way, I told Kate about this attack. What did she say? Well, I thought she'd be mad at me, but she thanked me that she understood. I was in there. She did everything to talk about it. Forty-seven. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine! Shit! Walk away! <laughs> or what? You gonna take us all on? Don't. Yeah! Tell the Constant to start running! You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. We're all that's left now. <laughs>